Hey there, AP Pre-Cal. It's Miss Adams from Flamingo Math. Today is our last day in Lesson 213. We're going to talk about inequalities today. This lesson exclusively about inequalities. And we're going to use some of the properties of inequalities. We'll discuss those as we go along. These two properties here. In example 16, we want to find a solution set for the inequality. We're going to check our answers for extraneous solutions, and then we want to verify that answer using a graphing calculator. So first of all, we want to rewrite the right side and make sure that it's in terms of the base is 5. So 5 cubed and x plus 6. That's going to give us 5 to the x is greater than 5 to the 3x plus 18. So we want to think about the bases are the same, so the exponents are equal. When is x greater than 3x plus 18? Well, that would be <clears throat> when negative 18 is greater than 2x or when negative 2x is greater than 18. So either negative 9 is greater than x or x is less than negative 9. Using our calculator, I'm going to sketch what my findings are over here in my notes. If this is x and this is y, and we have y equals 3x plus 18 is one of our graphs. That's over here. This is y equals 3x plus 18. So that's this side. And the other side is y equals x. That's just our identity graph going through here, y equals x. It appears like they're intersecting down here. Whoop. They're intersecting down here. This is happening at negative 9. That intersection point is negative 9, negative 9. And we want to know when... Uh, y equals x is less than negative 9. So if you zoom in, get my shading here, it appears that's going to happen in this section of the graph. This is my y equals x line, and this is my 3x plus 18 line, a little bit longer. I cleaned up that shading a, look, a little bit. So you can see that x is greater than 3x plus 18 in this shaded region from negative infinity to 9. So that means my solution set is going to be that interval, negative infinity to negative 9. This is our solution. On example B for 16, we'll rewrite the left-hand side or the right-hand side using the base 1 third. So 1 third x is 2 to the 2x plus 9 is less than 1 over 3 cubed. And we're going to multiply that cube times the x minus 3. The bases are the same. And the base is the property, property number two, if you look back with me. Property number two says if the base is a fraction, you've got a decreasing function. So that means the left base is greater than the right base if x is less than y. So we have property two. Let's go back to the example. We have property number two. Because our base, our base is between 0 and 1, so b of x is less than b of y if and only if x is greater than y. And we're being asked to find when is one-third of that number less than. So if it's less than, then our properties have to be that the left side has to be greater than the right side. 
So to narrow that all down, that's saying that we've got to have 2x plus 9 has to be greater than or equal to 3x minus 9. Collecting like terms, adding 9 to both sides, 18 has to be greater than or equal to x. Or if you write it so that the variable is on the other side, x has to be less than or equal to 18. So we're going to check that out to see if that is true using the calculator. I'm sketching what I found on my calculator. This is my y-axis. This is my x-axis. We have 3x minus 9 is going across here. This is y equals 3x minus 9. And then we have 2x plus 9. That's going to go across here. y is 2x plus 9. That ordered pair happens at 18. So x is 18. And shading in that area, the left-hand side, 2x plus 9, has to be above 3x minus 9. And that is true in this region, this region. So our solution set is going to be from negative infinity, whoop, negative infinity up to 18. And it said less than or equal to, so we're going to include 18. Okay, let's go try logarithm properties. For example, 17. So we got three properties. First one, find the solution set of the inequality and check for extraneous solutions. This one I'm going to attack by first doing log base 2 of 9 and 2 log base 2 of x. So we want to look at, on our calculator, we want to look at log base 2 of 9 and log base 2 of x squared, moving that factor of 2 as a power on the x squared term. And we can see that the logs are the same. They're both log base 2. That means 9 is greater than x squared. So x is going to be less than either positive or negative 3. So we've got to check is negative 3 is going to be extraneous since we can't take the log of a negative number. So that one is out. So x is less than 3, and we're looking for a non-negative value. Looking at our graph, we've got the log base 2, or 2 log base 2 of x, that's this graph, 2 times log base 2 of x, and then log base 2 of 9 is a straight line here, log base 2 of 9, and where does that cross? That crosses when x equals 3, we found that out from our solution here. And we want to know where is log base 2 of 9 above log base 2 of, or 2 log base 2 of x. So that would happen in this section here. But we can't take a log of a negative number. So we've got to get rid of all of these values over here which means that our solution set has to be non-negative, right? So this has to be non-negative. And that's going to limit our solution set to be somewhere between 0 and 3. That way, whenever we plug a number in here, we're not ending up with that extraneous situation. On part B, log base 2 of 2x plus 1 has to be less than 
or equal to 3. So I'm going to look at the definition of logarithms. So log base 2 is 2 raised to the third power. Right? We can rewrite the log as an exponential equation. 2x plus 1 has to be less than or equal to base raised to the power. So when is 2x plus 1 less than or equal to 8? That happens when 2x is less than 7 or x is less than 3 and a half. Now think about this for, with me for a minute. Our argument in the log expression, which is 2x plus 1, that can't be 0, it can't be negative. That means my x values have to be greater than negative a half. So it looks like if x has to be greater than negative a half and less than three and a half, it seems like our solution set should go from negative a half up to and including three and a half. But like we want to check with our graphing calculator. I'm sketching my findings over here to make a permanent record. So we have y equals 3. That's the right-hand side of the equation. And we have y equals log base 2 of 2x plus 1. That's this graph. Log base 2 of 2x plus 1. We have a vertical asymptote that x is negative one-half, and our solution set has to be, let's see, we also have this intersection point here at three and a half. This is three and a half. So our solution set has to go below three, And that does appear to match our algebraic findings that our x value has to be between negative a half and three and a half, including three and a half, but excluding negative one half. One more to go in this example. The log base one half of 2x minus 3 has to be greater than or equal to log base a half of x plus 5. And our properties say if the log are the same, and they are log of a half, log of a half, if the logs are the same, then the arguments are equal. 2x minus 3 is greater than or equal to x plus 5. x has to be greater than or equal to 8. This is going to be my intersection point. And then the argument 2x minus 3 can't be 0, can't be negative. So x has to be greater than 3 halves. Checking with our calculator, we have a y-axis, we have an x-axis. We're looking at 2 and 8. Let's see, we're looking at one and a half is our vertical asymptote. That came from this piece of our argument. X is one and a half. And our graph is going to pass through two. It's going to come around here like this. Then we have one at negative four because we have negative five. Negative 5 is our vertical asymptote on this one. This graph is coming across here. And we have an intersection point. I'm a little off on my scale up here. This intersection point is 8 and negative 3.7. So we need to move that. Let's move this 8 over here so that it makes it look like we're right on. All right, so what do we want? This is, this one is log one half x plus five. 
and this one is log 1 half 2x minus 3. We want to shade, let's see, it looks like between negative 2 and 8 is where the 2x minus 3 is above the other graph. So we're shading in there. That's not a very good shade, is it? Let's get the shade a little bit better. We want to be between 1 and a half and 8. This is where that one graph is above the other graph. We can erase some of this, a little bit of this. Mm -hmm. Clean that up. Okay. So our solution set is between one and a half, not including one and a half, all the way up to eight, including eight. Could put a little dotted line here if you wanted. And that brings us to the end of lesson 213. We had three days of that lesson. We have two more lessons to go in Unit 2. Please join me for those last two remaining lessons.